um, thinking about AI for a long time since I was in college, really. Um, it was one of the things that, the sort of four or five things I thought would really uh, affect the future uh, dramatically. It, it is fundamentally profound in that the, the, the smartest creatures, as far as you know, on this earth are humans. Elon Musk and Sam Altman, two tech visionaries who have consistently shaped the conversation around artificial intelligence, have recently shared some truly shocking predictions about the future of AI and humanoid robotics. Their insights and concerns are too significant to ignore. From the possibility of robots outsmarting us to the real worry about AI being used the wrong way, these visionaries offer a glimpse into a future that's as shocking as it is a little bit scary. Are we prepared for what's to come? Let's dive into these eye-opening forecasts and what they mean for the future. Uh, so anyway, so I think, I think we should uh, take this seriously, and, and we should have um, uh, a, a regulatory agency. I think it needs to start with um, a group that initially seeks uh, insight uh, into AI, uh, then solicits opinion from industry, uh, and then pro has proposed rulemaking, and then those rules, you know, uh, will probably hopefully grudgingly be accepted by uh, the, the major players in, in, in AI. In a recent interview with Tesla and Twitter CEO Elon Musk and interviewer Tucker Carlson, Musk shared some truly shocking insights about the lesser discussed aspects of AI. He used a striking analogy, imagining a future where something smarter than humans could emerge in the form of silicon. Musk was specifically referring to AI-powered robots, like his Tesla Optimus Gen 2, which he hopes will hit mass production by next year. Throughout the conversation, Musk emphasized the urgent need for ethical AI regulations to ensure the technology is used safely and responsibly. So all of a sudden, AI is everywhere. People who weren't quite sure what it was are playing with it on their phones. Is that good or bad? Yeah, so I've been um, thinking about AI for a long time, since I was in college, really. Um, it was one of the things that, the sort of four or five things I thought would really uh, affect the future uh, dramatically. It, it is fundamentally profound in that the, the, the smartest creatures, as far as you know, on this earth are humans, um, is our defining characteristic. Yes. Um, we're obviously uh, weaker than, say, chimpanzees and less agile. Uh. However, when Elon Musk discusses AI regulations, he hints at something much deeper. Why should we be worried about AI to the point of setting up ethical guidelines and regulations? Despite being behind advanced AI tools like Tesla's Autopilot, the Tesla Optimus Gen 2 robots, and other AI innovations, Musk hasn't always been the most optimistic about AI. In fact, there have been times when he's been quite pessimistic about its potential dangers. Just listen to what he had to say about this during an interview with Joe Rogan. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. This seems Nobody like a listened. scene in a movie Nobody where listened. the robots are gonna fucking take over and you're freaking me out. Nobody listened. Nobody listened. No one. Are people more inclined to listen today? It seems like an issue that's brought up more often over the last few years than it was maybe five, ten years ago. It seemed like science fiction. Maybe they will. So far, they haven't. I think people don't, like, the, normally the way that regulations work is very slow. Very slow indeed. So, usually there'll be something, some new technology. It will cause damage or death. There will be an outcry. There will be an investigation. Years will pass. There will be some sort of insight committee. There will be rulemaking. Then there will be oversight, eventually regulations. This all takes many years. Let's refocus on Elon Musk's perspective regarding the need for regulations in AI development. In this discussion, Musk drops a bombshell when he addresses the biggest danger of AI. He gives a chilling response, admitting that AI might one day take over humans. This underscores the importance of taking AI safety seriously. As Musk puts it, while there is tremendous potential for good, there is also a significant risk of things going south in ways we might not expect. Let's hear what he has to say. The, the, the things like, like say, uh, ChatGPT, which is uh, based on GPT-4 from OpenAI, which right. is a company that I uh, 
played a, a, a critical role in, in creating, unfortunately. Uh, Back when it was a nonprofit? <sighs> yes. Um, I mean, the, 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 the reason uh, OpenAI exists at all is that um, Larry Page and I used to be close friends, and I would yes. stay at his house in Palo Alto. And I would talk to him late into the night about uh, AI safety. And at least my perception was that Larry was not taking uh, AI safety uh, seriously enough. Um, and um, What did he say about it? He really seemed to be um, one, one, one sort of a digital super intelligence, basically digital god, if you will, uh, uh, as soon as possible. Um, he wanted that? Yes. He's, he's made many public statements over the years uh, that, that the whole goal of Google is uh, uh, what's called AGI, artificial general intelligence or artificial super intelligence. You know, and, I, and I agree with him that the, there's great potential for good, um, but there's also potential for bad. And so if, if you've got some um, radical new technology, you want to try to take the set of actions that maximize probably it, it will do good and minimize probably it will do bad things. Yes. Um, it, it can't just be health leather, let's just go, you know, barreling forward and, you know, hope for the best. Elon Musk, as a leading technocrat, deserves applause for his candor about the potential dangers of AI and the urgent need for guidelines and regulations, don't you think? From Musk's perspective, while the gradual integration of AI into various aspects of society promises to improve life, boost productivity, and offer numerous other benefits, it also comes with equally severe risks. Musk has announced plans to start mass-producing his Optimus robots as early as next year, aiming to deploy them in factories and beyond. This move will push AI from just being a topic of screens and news discussions to actually working in real-life settings showcasing their capabilities outside of controlled environments. But let's now turn our attention to OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, who hasn't been shy about the potentially shocking impacts of AI development. Altman has also shared insights that might just stun you to the core. I hear that, and that's an that's a absolutely appropriate answer to my question, but I guess I'm trying to get at the sense of whether this is incremental or whether it's radical, even in the next year. I believe that someday we will make something that qualifies as an AGI by whatever fuzzy definition you want. The world will have a two-week freakout, and then people will go on with their lives. Sam Altman just said the world will only have a two-week freakout when we get to AGI. That's quite a statement to make. One thing I say a lot is no one knows what happens next. And I can't see to the other side of that event horizon with any detail, but it does seem like the deep human motivations will not go anywhere. This is when people start getting alarmed that we Why? have no idea. Well, I, mean, I think that's just... We're going to have some, a, a, an intelligence that is more intelligence than all of us, and we have no idea what happened. No, no. I, like, one thing I love to do is go back and read about the contemporaneous accounts of technological revolutions at the time. And the expert predictions are just always totally that's wrong. very good point. And you need to have some flexibility in your opinions and look, have a tight feedback loop with how it's going with the world. Now, let's talk about something Sam Altman said that really gets you thinking. He mentioned that if we achieve AGI, there would be a two-week freakout and then the world would just move on. Sounds like a smart, thought-provoking answer, right? But let's break down what that might actually mean, starting with a quick refresher on what AGI is. AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence, which basically means AI becomes so smart and advanced that it's self-aware and sentient. It sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but researchers say that while it's still a hypothetical idea, it's possible we could get there. Now imagine what it would mean to achieve AGI. It's easy to predict some of the risks, like AI potentially wanting to control or even enslave us. But here's where Sam Altman's point is interesting. He talks about this two-week freakout, where everyone panics, and then we just move on. There's no ambiguity or massive tension in his response, even though we're talking about developing something smarter than us. But what can we really say about this? Remember when Sam Altman was asked about the future of AI and whether we can slow it down? His response was pretty clear. There's no magic red button to stop AI. If you were ever in that room and you thought to yourself, this is getting dangerous, and this could actually have consequences that I would not want upon the world, would you then shout stop and would you stop? There's no like one big magic red button we have that blows up the data center which I think some people sort of assume exists. It's not this binary go-stop decision. It is the many little decisions along the way about allow this, don't allow this. Does that mean we're doomed? 
Not necessarily. Sam Altman's response suggests that, like it or not, we have to evolve with technology. AI is the next big thing, and the future is rushing towards us whether we're ready for it or not. But what do you think? How do you feel about all of this? Let us know your thoughts. Now let's talk about something really interesting Sam Altman shared during an interview with Joe Rogan. He had some pretty shocking things to say about the future of work with humanoid robots. We've all heard the debate about robots taking over jobs. It's been a hot topic, especially with companies like Tesla Robotics making huge strides in that direction. But what Sam Altman, a pioneer in AI, has to say on this might surprise you. So, what does the future of humanoid robots in the workforce look like? Let's hear his response. Elon Musk and Sam Altman, two of the biggest names in tech, have very different yet equally shocking takes on the future of AI. Musk is deeply concerned about AI's potential to surpass human control, emphasizing the need for strict regulations to prevent disaster. He's talked about AI becoming smarter than humans, and with his Optimus robot set for mass production, he believes we need to be cautious. Altman, on the other hand, offers a more nuanced view. While he acknowledges the risks, he suggests that when we hit AGI, where AI becomes self-aware, there might be a brief freakout, but we'll quickly adapt. Altman's perspective implies that AI's rapid advancement is unavoidable, and humanity will have no choice but to evolve with it. What's interesting is that while they come from different angles, they both agree on one thing. AI will transform our world in ways we can't fully predict. The question is, as AI advances, where does that leave us? Will we be prepared for the changes it brings? Or are we underestimating just how profound those changes will be? What do you think? Are we heading toward a future we can control? Or are we moving into uncharted territory without fully understanding the risks? If you missed our recent video where we discussed Elon Musk's plans for his humanoid robot Tesla Optimus Gen 2, then you need to check it out here.